These cases here against the back wall are also for sale. These are big cases from the uh, jewelry store. Lots of interesting box lots here. Some uh, jewel tea in there, it looks like. Some uh, miscellaneous glassware. Needle set of skis. Here's where the this week's selection of the Hollywood folk stuff for work starts. Uh, we'll sell these by the flat or by the box. This box has a lot of Ronald Reagan and Nancy Davis. This has the stripper and some other items. All these boxes have a huge mix uh, and large quantities. This is just the first little bit of a collection of paper goods. A box of uh, Roy Ryder, Roy Rogers, uh, some old westerns. Two boxes of Playboys from the 60s and 70s. Uh, pretty good little uh, pieces here. It's a wonderful life. Uh, boxes of posters. These are little groundware pieces. A little bit of chippy on there. We'll sell those a little group. Really like the uh, the elongated coin collection. It's cool. The oversized dominoes are fun. Gumball machine. This is a cool capital. Some plaster of Paris. These are just really fantastic gilded plates. Uh, Crown stuff, which I believe. These are Schumann Empress, some RS pieces, real nice to palm. More vintage Christmas. Really nice Limoges group here. And paint a Limoges set. Nice such crystals, some 50s. I love the little cobalt top pieces. Little Santa Claus, really poly, feather tree. Some uh, Stangle. Just a little group of pipe plates. I sell these by the stack of these lobby cards, folks. There are some pretty good stacks. There's a lot of westerns, you know, Tarzan with Weissmuller, All About Eve, My Fair Lady. Guy's a major uh, historian type collector, and we have about 10 auctions worth of material we're going to be selling. Uh, but once it's gone, it's gone. I, we have an incredible amount to go through, and we're really excited about it. This is also from him, a collection of comic books. These are all cl classic comics or classics illustrated, including a couple of number ones, number twos, Captain Midnight, Lone Ranger, it's a whole stack of Rangers there. These are all Tom Mix. These are all Westerns. We'll sell these by the stack. These are all crime related, like Detective, Spellbound, True, K True Crime, Real Fact Comics. Big group of uh, miscellaneous 10 centers, mainly, I believe. Uh, some Super Boys, another little group of Ozanans, Feature Comics, Martin Jeff, Doll Man. Wonder Woman's kind of a cool one underneath, underneath there. Black Cat and some of Boy Comics. Here are some more comics in the case over here. A stack of Captain Marvel, a stack of Captain Marvel Jr., Marvel Family and Related. Wiz Comics, 10 Centers from Fawcett. Batman 37 and I think 42 or 47. Stack of detective comics, Superman, some uh, cowboy portrait cards. This is a group of Roy Rogers, Dale Evans pop up cards post 1954, I want to get to say. Uh, these don't look like they've ever popped up. I think there's 24 cards. Spectre number one. Really nice group of, uh, I think, Golden Age or Silver Age mainly in that stack in just really great condition. Captain Marvel Banner, hard to find peace. I believe these are all silent films, including uh, Our Gang. A lot of single sheets in there. Really great collection. We're really excited off of that over time. It's going to be a lot of fun. Really nice Enterprise uh, coffee mill. This is from the jewelry store, the watch and jewelry repair, reverse painted on glass, with the crack ice look to it. This is a neat piece here. Sterling Silver Frame with every good wish from uh, Maxine Elliott. Uh, movie star, actress back in the day. Dutch play, Delft plate from the. Uh, uh, oh, I looked it up. East Trade India, uh, East India Trade Company, I believe, uh, 1919. Neat glass set. Group of Stuba, little elite piece. H. Harvey Clark etching. First edition Charlie Chaplin book, the first book written about him. This Wiz Comics is signed by one of the authors of one of the books and stories in there, and he is a sci-fi, almost sci-fi guy, I forget the name right now, he's pictured. 
This is a complete Franklin Mint World's Greatest Aircraft Pewter Set. 2400 bucks right now on eBay. Uh, neat little group there. Beatles, some good jewelry pieces. Moon Mullins old book there. Got from the collection. I like the Winston tag there. It's on uh, Winston on the other side is another company. And uh, I think it's a fan hang. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Tiffany and Company bronze pine needle frame, and that's a big one. This glass is broken in a couple of spots, but it's a good frame. A lot of sterling coin silver set, Hobe and Hobe sterling pieces, heavy sterling bracelets, a little box of costume there. Groups of sterling on this shelf and more jewelry, nice cameos. And then here's the uh, the big sterling silver flatware, Lunts, William and Mary. We're going to sell the box of just the flatware, the service for 12, and then we'll sell the box of serving piece, pieces. In case somebody wants just the serving pieces, they can have those. I have a chance to get those. Nice artwork from the, uh, from the estates. Rick Dwight, he is a recognized artist. Good antique barometer. Uh, needs some work, but it's a good early piece. A nice decorative 1950s oil painting there of ships. Neat necklaces, really good painted uh, Limoges, Cloisonne, Royal Dalton pieces, Erotica, nice Seth Thomas. Real pretty, I think it's uh, Bavarian two set there, cute. Nice little Russian lacquer box. Sergeant York autographs. I mean, again, out of that paper collection. Shirley Temple, beautiful Murano birds. Pretty cool starlet. And these are good old Staffordshire dogs. Uh, in a good color, too. Nice watercolor. Uh, we couldn't find much on the artist, though. Limoges set here. Had a signed glass, Coke ball, neat jade daisy, churn iron stone. Really cool little copper piece. For some reason, I like the Starline pulley. That's kind of a cool piece there. Nice uh, old carved decoy. Some good old toys. Utah bra. This was in the, one of the boxes of uh, Hollywood stuff. Or she's a Hollywood actress, let me explain it. Really nice little three cornered uh, early carriage lamp. Check out the uh, hand pierced pieces in the bottom. Nice big butcher block. Civil War illustrations, uh, 25 or 28, I think, Kansas City, old Kansas City newspapers bound anything from 1890s through the 1940s. These are complete years. If they have comics, they're in there. We're, important world events are in there. And more of the uh, Hollywood collection. Betty Grable, Shirley Temple, Gloria Jean, uh, some comics. This is a cool picture from a different estate. Uh, a little classroom picture around the chalkboard. The little kids are holding in front says Lenex in 1916. Kind of old Montgomery Ward's catalog. catalog. Folks, it's going to be a really fun auction Tuesday night. Um, fair amount of stuff, but it should go pretty quickly. Uh, we have a lot of groups. Um, not too much in the cases. It's not going to sell you know, in the larger groups. And uh, it should be a lot of fun. It'll still be, uh, like I said, the comics pretty much by the stack or by the set. And um, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll have more information on the website about the Hollywood collection. And uh, we're looking forward to that coming through in the next few weeks. And we're going to have a great time Tuesday. Have a great holiday weekend. Hopefully it's supposed to be cool by, by Sunday. And uh, we'll see you Tuesday.